Good morning. King Zedekiah summons Jeremiah to another secret interview. Should Jeremiah soften his message? Our reading today is from Jeremiah chapter 38, verses 14 through 18. Then Zedekiah the king sent and had Jeremiah the prophet brought to him at the third entrance of the house of the Lord. And the king said to Jeremiah, I will ask you something, hide nothing from me. Jeremiah said to Zedekiah, If I declare it to you, will you not surely put me to death? And if I give you advice, you will not listen to me. So Zedekiah the king swore secretly to Jeremiah, saying, As the Lord lives who made our very souls, I will not put you to death, nor will I give you into the hand of these men who seek your life. Then Jeremiah said to Zedekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, If you surely surrender to the king of Babylon's princes, then your soul shall live, this city shall not be burned with fire, and you and your house shall live. But if you do not surrender to the king of Babylon's princes, then this city shall be given into the hand of the Chaldeans. They shall burn it with fire, and you shall not escape from their hand. So Jeremiah pleads with the king to surrender to the Babylonians. If he does, he'll be spared and the city will be spared. If he does not, then he won't be spared and the city won't be spared. Now, Jeremiah does not soften his message. He can't. This is not a message from Jeremiah. This is a message from God. And Jeremiah's part is to deliver it, use his own words, but to deliver it just as uh, firmly as God delivered it to Jeremiah to deliver. So, no, he can't soften this down. He can't put velvet in there. A true prophet has one option. He has to deliver the message faithfully. And Jeremiah, from everything we've seen, this, is, this characterizes Jeremiah. He can encourage people to receive it, and he should. But he's got to deliver it faithfully. Well, what about Zedekiah? Well, Zedekiah, in his own mind, he's a man who's between a rock and a hard place. He obviously thinks that God's message is too hard because he's wavering between the influence of all these people and, and God's influence through his servant Jeremiah. He's wavering back and forth about what to do. And he doesn't seem to obey the word of the prophet, so he seems to be coming down on the side of the immediate moment and the, all the influence that is bearing against him. And yet he keeps seeking the counsel of Jeremiah the prophet. His heart is being drawn toward God, but his great flaw is that he is, he is afraid of men. And this is uh, the kind of thing we read about in many places in the Bible, such as Galatians chapter 1, verse 10 in the, the Apostle Paul. Notice the way he puts this dilemma. For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I still please men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. So every one of us has to solve the problem that Zedekiah had to solve and that, that Paul had to solve. Zedekiah hasn't solved this problem yet, and he's down to basically the last chapter he has to solve it. We're 250 devotional presentations into the book of Jeremiah, and we are on the very point of the final resolution here. Zedekiah's clock is run out. He's just virtually done, so he's got to make the right decision. We're just a couple of days until that ultimate moment. So, friend, about you and I, we need to solve that question now so that when we come to a crisis, we're ready. Solve it now, and we'll be ready in the time of crisis. Delay solving it now, and we won't be ready. So God will be with us if we put Jesus first. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to give a faithful message to souls that are at risk. Zedekiah's soul was at risk, and so Jeremiah couldn't trim the corners. Oh, Lord, help us to be true and right and faithful. We just can't do any other thing, Lord, but help people. And we won't be helping them if we don't give them a straight message. Now is certainly a time for straight messages. May we give it in God's spirit and in the love that you have, but may it also be straight and right, just what souls need for conviction and to turn to Jesus. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So no prophet has the authority to soften his message. He has to give it as God gives it. And righteous men who will hear that message will thank him, maybe not immediately, but they'll thank him later. God be with you today.